This video is brought to you by SeedProd. In this video, I'll walk you through how to put your WooCommerce store in maintenance mode. And the cool thing about this is you'll have the ability to either restrict just maintenance mode to just your shop, or you can do it for your whole site. This is perfect if you want to keep your site live, keep your homepage live, keep your blog up and running, but simply put your store in maintenance mode so you can do either some theme changes or some product adjustments. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So you see here, it, this is my shop and I just want to put this in maintenance mode, but I want to keep my homepage and my blog up and running so that people can still come to my site while I'm working on the products because I don't want them to try and buy anything while I'm working on the store. To put our shop in maintenance mode, but to keep the rest of the site up and running, we're going to install a plugin and you'll want to look for seed prod. Seed prod is the easiest to use coming soon in maintenance plugin for WordPress. So head over to seed prod and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP. You can get a discount using that. Once you get the plugin here, just head back over to your WordPress dashboard and we'll want to go to plugins, add new, and we're going to upload that plugin that we just downloaded. Make sure you install it and also stick around to activate the plugin as well. Once it's activated, you also want to add your license key that you can find under your account for Seedprod. Great, once it's all installed, let's go ahead and set everything up. What we wanna do is come over here to Coming Soon Pro and then we can adjust everything. First, we want to edit the Coming Soon page and this is what will show on your shop area or any, any other area that is under maintenance. You can choose from this one, or if you want to, you can go to themes and select a theme, and then it will show you all of these themes that you can choose from. I'll pick the party confetti one. That looks pretty good. And then we can change the content. So you want to click on the content and that's where you can make adjustments to what it says. I'm going to change the name. The page name is the item that comes up here at the top. You can add your logo here. You can add a headline can keep the countdown timer if you want so that that builds anticipation, which is great. You can even add a contact form so people can be notified when your store goes live, which is perfect. And that's pretty good for now. So we're going to go ahead and click save changes to this. And now we, we need to tell Seedprod which areas to put in maintenance mode. So let's do that. So we're going to go back to our settings area. And for status, we're going to pick coming soon mode simply because our store is coming soon. We actually don't have it up and running yet, but we're getting started. So we want to put that in there. And what that'll do is it'll start allowing Google or the search engines to index those pages without allowing anybody to actually reach them. Conversely, if you enable in maintenance mode, then that means that there's something wrong with parts of your site. And you're just letting Google know that if they try and index that part or come to that part, there's a 503, meaning that there's a server error that you're working on. So Pick whichever one that works best for you. For this one, we're going to do enable coming soon. Next, you want to include the URLs. And for WooCommerce, there are four specific URLs that you want to put in the include URLs area. And that is your domain name, slash shop, cart, checkout, and my account. And those are the main ones that WooCommerce uses. So let's go ahead and click save all changes. And if you don't have any products yet, then that's perfect. If you do have some products, then you'll want to add a couple more. So I'm gonna put those in here because I do have a product that I have set up. And so you'll want to put product and an asterisk after it, and that will do all products, all product categories and all product tags. So add that as well. And the cool thing about that is if you have multiple products, doing the asterisk will just do all of them. You don't have to do each individual one. So go ahead and add all of those as well. And we'll click save changes. And now, we can go and see how it all looks. So I'm going to open up my shop area. And when you open up your shop area, just know that if you see it, but you're logged in, that means that you're logged in. So you're not going to see what the user see. Seedprod Seed allows if you're logged in that you're going to see everything that you need to. So make sure you log out so you can test it. And then when you try and go to shop or cart or whatever, then it'll show this. The cool thing is, okay, but now if I try to just go to my homepage, perfect. It's showing my homepage and showing my blog and everything like that. 
Again, if I go to the shop area, it's going to show maintenance mode. So that's a very cool and easy way to put your site in, in maintenance mode in just certain areas, for instance, to just put your WooCommerce store in maintenance mode. And thanks for watching.